And greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. It's another wonderful Monday. It is February of 2024, making it a wonderful day for the murder. And using my amazing powers of stopping time, you can see something is not quite right in the state of Denmark. You see, during stream, which is where this happened, I tend to play games that are either really, really great for basics or really, really great for Murder Monday, as we're doing now. But I don't know that at the time, I'm not always, you know, describing the game efficiently. I'm interacting with chat, having the various conversations. And that might not always be the greatest for upload. So what do you do with those games? Hmm, that's a chin scratcher. Well, I thought, what if I, in post, review the game as it's going along? That way I can pause it, I can explain things. It, it, seems, it seems pretty good, right? It seems like a really decent idea. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know at the end of the video uh, what you thought about this. If it was cool and you'd like to see it again, if you'd never want to see it ever, if you wish you had never seen it to begin with. Uh, yeah, let, let me know down in the comments how, how you feel about that. Cool? Cool. So here I am against V30, sorry, V5307381110. As I'm sure you know. I have muted. Oh dear. So he's 13 and 7. You saw that for like half a second. So he's like on the border of 8 Don. I am white. I've opened up a 4-4 point. My opponent has done similar so we could go territory influence who knows i'm doing a deep dive on his thing to see if he's been aped on he hasn't but he's been really really close now here i took two four four points because from four four points you can go in and close that's fantastic you can go for some kind of influence dealio that is also fantastic it's a nice flexible light opening you can just take it in many different ways my opponent 3 threes me, so I decide, despite it not being the meta right now, I get a wall facing essentially where I can develop. I can develop easiest between my two stones. Meta right now is to block the other way and just deny your opponent the ability to ever expand because the meta is also not to surround the opponent. Uh, so this way, if you don't surround the opponent and take Sente, then they can't grow aside that way. So he goes and decides, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take your corner and I'm going to happily give you a wall here. Great, fantastic. Now this does mean he's going to get influence here. I waffle back and forth on what I want to do. Do I want to not play this and instead play something like, mm, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Sanrin, say, or I'm not going to play this move and I'm going to instead maybe approach over here. But the problem with that, as I'm sure many of you know, is if I did that, then he would go ahead and like Atari here and then go ahead and drop down. And at that point, he's not actually surrounded right now. And he could just like keep growing uh, this area here or do whatever else. And I, 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 you know, I just don't want to, whoops, wrong tool. I just don't want to do that uh, in this game. So all right, here we go, old style. I'm just getting a wall, as we can see here. And then my opponent, three threes me. Now, i got to take a moment here to fast forward because I facepalm for about two minutes. All right, facepalming aside, I finally made my move and I blocked in the wrong direction. I didn't mean to block in this direction, so now we're going to just go ahead and yell and just uh, do whatever. Now, it's fine. I can, and I still want to do this. Here we go, pausing. I meant to have a wall facing this way. And I was going to take Sente and then just play a big move. That was my intention. I was talking to chat. Wasn't really paying attention where my cursor was. I clicked. It's okay. Thankfully, because of Jaseki, I know that I can undo my mistake because of what happened here. And I'm able to cut on the inside and still take the outside to build up this area. So that's what we're doing. He has no say in the matter because he gave me this variation, the cut on the inside, 
will always allow me the outside. Only question is, what does he want to do? Does he want to Atari and let me Atari on the outside? Or is he going to Atari on top, which is what he's going to do, and give me that variation instead? Mm-hmm. Yep, as you can see, he's Atari on the outside. So that allows me to go ahead and, yep, do this. Nice, simple Jaseki. Yep, we're going to Atari there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. He Atari's back. We connect. He small knights. And we, yep, go ahead and net that. Now, he finishes here, which is completely fine. And this move, fun fact, is actually approved by the AI. It's apparently like the optimal position to lay claim to this area. It's also starting... Yeah, it's lay claim to this area, but it's also potentially with an extension threatening to lay claim to this area. Or maybe if you approach, for example, and they do like this classic position, for example, where they just take territory, then you could follow it up here. And then suddenly you have that area as potential, which is also fairly nice. So it's, it's a fairly uh, flexible and robust move. So I did not pull that out of a hat. That, believe it or not, is AI move. The question now is, what is he going to do about this? That is a, that's a, that's a hum right there. I can tell from how long he hesitated here. He wasn't really aware of this move before. So he had to try to come up with one on the fly. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to make a mistake here. I should Atari here. But I'm a little bit frazzled from being double three threed. I'm a little bit frazzled from the fact that I blocked the wrong way. The game is not going as I intended at all. So I play this one, which almost I instantly realize is a bad idea. Because he's going to get a shape here now after I respond. Only one move playable. He's going to do the one point jump. Mm -hmm. We're going to poke out his shape. Because if we don't take that shape away from him... You can kind of imagine this, right? Like, he hanes, I hane back. He hanes again, I extend. He extends again. I have to respond again. And then, like, holy crap, he's alive. He's got way too much eye shape. He lived super easily. And now I'm in trouble, right? So, gotta take his shape point. I thought about doing this one. You saw my mouse hover. That wouldn't have been a good idea. Good sense prepare. Yeah. Yeah. Good sense uh, prevails. And now I realize that was that was a stupid move and I've screwed up big time. He's not alive yet, so it's not terrible. But it could have been better. Yep. He goes ahead and connects there. He's trying to prevent. I don't know what he's trying to prevent, actually. A bit of a strange move. Now here I spend time thinking, hey, do any of these cutting points work? If I could go ahead and slice them to pieces... That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, uh, they don't really work. So my reading here is just wasting friggin' time. You know what I mean? Poke down and try to make him heavy before we do the Hane. Now he is an F group. So even though this wasn't the best uh, play in the history of ever, he is a heavy group and is devoid of eyes. So it's not optimal but we kept him running, and now we can go away. This move is, also, is okay. If you wanted, however, if you wanted, you could absolutely play a move up here to lean on the top if you wanted to keep trying to uh, maybe attack this or something, uh, but it's a little bit too all in. This group isn't going anywhere, and if it does, I get Sente again. So I, we can just keep playing big moves. Almost none of this was actually mentioned during the stream, which is why I thought this might be kind of interesting uh, to go over. That way the game can be running in the background while I'm still getting my thoughts on it, and you can follow along. I don't know. Is this cool? Is it not? I don't know. I think one thing I have to fix if I do this again is maybe starting to record my things with the audio track separately so you still have the stones for something like this. I think I'll have to give more thought to it. I'll get more thought to it. 
Here, I'm expanding because he's already got one weak group, right? So if he creates another one, then all we need to do is just go ahead and come out and then maybe try and surround it in some way because then you'll have one group, two group, and then we can try to attack them, right? Two groups, you just force them to run each other, split them, they can't defend both simultaneously, and that's how things tend to die, right? So, cool. He backs off high. I'm after all the influ mm, excuse me, all the influence. So I'm trying to harass him. I'm trying to bait him into creating another group over here on the right-hand side of the board because the influence is where we've got so much potential. Here, he did make the uh, move on the right like I wanted. Not a pincer, unfortunately, but it's okay. We can still get influence here. It's completely fine and dandy. An old variation to be sure, but that's okay. So here, he's choosing to settle. Now, this move here should actually typically be down here. That way he's got better shape. But right now you can tell he's afraid of being surrounded right now with good reason, right? We know why he doesn't want to be surrounded right now. Unfortunately, I'm going to make a boo-boo here. That move should be one lower. Nope, go put your mouse back there. You know you're going to play it. You know you're going to play it. Yep, click it, click it, click it. There you go. That should have been down here. It does the same thing. It threatens to do the push and cut, and it also threatens to create a, a bad shape here for black. So, my bad. Oopsie daisies. Very, very unfortunate, right? I'm gonna go ahead and click here. I'm thinking maybe I'm making a mistake, but the AI actually isn't uh, unhappy with me. It's actually kind of digging what's going on right now because of the weak group. Oof, AIs don't like no weak group, yo. So, fun fact here. I'm processing in this part of the a game that we can throw in. And then I can extend, and he has to connect. And I can extend, and then he has to connect. And then maybe we can go ahead and throw in here to do something like this to create a dead shape. That is a crazy idea. The idea that I'm going to get that while protecting this cutting point after he pushes somehow is insane. But it's a thought that I'm having, and my next moves will unfortunately reflect that. Because you can see here that I am go trying to go for a very solid surround, thinking I can kill him on the inside. I should be going for a lighter surround because this group is it is destroyed. Like, you can see me hover my mouse over it. Like, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, there's two groups on the board. Great. I should be playing lighter as a result, not as solidly as this. This should have been a small knight. I should not have played here. This should be a small knight. This gets me in a little bit of trouble, but the AI is still okay with it. It's not the best move, but it's an okay move. As long as I don't make really, really bad shape. So here he's going to double Hane. I'm realizing we are never surrounding this brother, but it's okay. We do a driving to Suji here because we Atari here. He connects, we Atari down. And if he extends, then we can just go zoot, 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 and we're okay. Instead, he cuts. We get to take, so we're alive. He tries to cut out again. This is giving us really great stuff in the middle of the board. He connects. We go for a surround. All of this has got the AI seal of approval. It likes. And now here is an actual uh, interesting little life and death problem that I bungle all over the place. I'm not going to tell you until the end on where the right move was, but if you want, you can pause the video here and see if you can't figure out what you would do with my shape. My shape is completely fine. I should not be in trouble. But can you spot why I shouldn't be in trouble? Because I was having some trouble here. Because right now, you can see in the clock above me, I've got like one minute left. So I'm going to have 30 seconds Bioyomi here in a minute. No longer have any main time to try to figure out, you know, what's going on. And time pressure does uh, bad things to me, I admit. So yeah, here I'm thinking, hmm, he's not quite connected yet. So I could probably cut this, go on and throw in, 
mysteriously keep this cutting point somehow and possibly kill him. Really, really bad, crazy thoughts. But those are the thoughts that I was having. Interestingly enough, I completely missed in the conversation uh, on chat, they were asking if there's a Mexican opening. Uh, I guess they're talking about Chinese openings and things like that. I don't know. There is no 3-3 in Ba Sing Se. Uh, so yeah, he's pushing. I cannot kill that anymore. That is not possible. Cannot do. So we should be making sure we're alive right now. And I assure you, white is fine. And I assure you, I have a lot of trouble finding out why. So what do you think? Found the move yet? I'll give you a hint. I'm not playing it. Those of you who said the right move was here all along. Congratulations. You are life and death masters. Because this is not a move I'm going to be playing ever. That extracts you easily. And I think at the end of this, I even go into a review where we look at that. So you can look at the exacts uh, later on. So yeah, here I'm getting an eye, and I thought, well, maybe there's something that I can do. Ah, not really, not really. That is the star of the show. So right now I have point, well, I have an eye, but it could be a co. We don't know yet. I want to play this one, but admittedly I can't read it because the clamp was making me nervous. So you can see here, I lost an entire Bioyomi period here because I'm struggling to be able to like read out like, is, can I do this? Can I, do I have to do this one? Do I just like go here into here? It's like, oh, I can't quite read it all out because there's cuts there, right? There's cuts and surrounds and it's crazy. So I'm trying to find something simpler and I decide on this one. Now he plays the Hane and without even taking time to read for more than a few seconds, he took longer than I thought he did. I thought he clicked it instantly. He takes a quite a bit of time here. In my head, the time here went by like that, and I clamped and he extends. Wow. But he doesn't, does he? I would have sworn he instantly clicked this. Apparently not. So yeah, he extends, which allows me for the cut. And that extracts me out of this position nicely. Should have always been okay. I was having trouble reading a move. I tried to play something safer, but he's trying to kill me. So he goes all in instead of just letting me live. If he just took the outside and let me live, and then, hold on, pause. So if he did that, right, just let me live with my eye, he'd probably have, like, something over in here, and then, like, something over in here, and then he could play something over in here, which would be great. Because, dude, that is a really great area, right? That is a fantastic area he could have taken for himself. But instead, he's going all in trying to kill me, when instead he should be like, you know what, I don't think we can really do that. There's also a few variations from the AI that tells me to sacrifice the entire right-hand side to just kill the left-hand side. Because with a wall here in Sentai, we can poke at the shape and he has to give it up. He just has to give it up or he's dead because there's nowhere to run to anymore. Instead, he's going all in trying to kill. And now you can see he's letting me into his top area, which, and this is important, which is really, really huge for the game. Because this is just, you know, a standard corner. This is a substandard corner. Uh, this is unknown. Three, five, seven, nine points. So he really needs all of this right now, right? And instead, he's running me into his profit rather than taking his profit. He's not attacking for profit. He's attacking to kill. So he's going all in on uh, some kind of flashy win that, even according to the AI, can't happen, right? Cannot happen. Now that said, I am human. I fall for the same mistakes. So rather than just taking the outside 
and then uh, attacking all the things. What am I gonna do? You can see where my mouse is. You can see where the mouse is. I'm like, ooh, can I cut on the inside? Can I cut on the inside now? Can I cut on the inside? We could try to kill now, right? We could try to kill, totally. We could, we could totally try to kill. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, do it. Yep, inside move does not work. I could not read a variation here that did work, but I thought, well, I'm creating Aji while I'm trying to live, so this has to be a good thing. No, just surround him, you moron. Now, the Atari here is fine, because if he takes here and I take there, I have more uh, than he does. He can't, he can't hold it. That'd be a bad idea. So, this is fine. This is fine. Now we're trying to figure out, can I extend down here and then play over into here? No, I can't. And it's dumb that I'm wasting my time trying to even think about it. Because again, where's his points? We know where his points are and they're not that impressive right now. The middle's falling to white. There's a weak group here. There's a new weak group here. Just connect and chill, buddy. You're gravy. Even trying to spend effort reading this out is just not... It's just not good. He's still trying to kill me, but at this point, it's, it's, it's over. It can't, you can't do it. Can't do it. Now, maybe instead, of, maybe instead of trying to kill me, maybe he's trying to connect up his stones instead. But he's trying to connect up this to this, ideally, right? Get these two groups here. Maybe start forming eyes, because right now they're not really connected, so we can attack all the things. This defends against this. He now has to save these two stones, otherwise they're going to die and the entire top is dead. So, he plays here. I'm going to go ahead and create some more Aji with this. Do I need it? I don't know. But I played it anyway. It looked like a decent forcing move. Might have been unnecessary, but my reading is garbage, so... And things happen. What do you want? Th things happen. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Things happen. So he plays the Hane, or I play the Hane, sorry. He can't cut, because we Atari, he connects, and then we Atari him again, and he's dead. So that was the only move playable. Now we Hane, he has to go ahead and save his three stones, or he's going to lose the one. So he saves the three stones. Oh, right, he pokes me first, and he saves the three stones. Now this next move, I think, is a bit of a mistake. He's going to go ahead and net it. But the net gives me Sente to Hane and threaten to kill, which is going to come up as a bit of an important thing later. If he had just went ahead and played the Atari, I wouldn't have the Hane here uh, as Sente, so it would be a bit of a different, uh, bit of a different position. I'm here trying to live. He's going to say, you do not get to live because reasons. It's like, no man, I, I'm, I'm going to try to kill you. Oh yeah, I'm going to try to kill you. You're going to die. But unfortunately, right at this point, he can't really do that. But he has nothing to fall back on, so he doesn't really have a choice in trying to kill me. Because he can't be like, okay, that's fine, I'm just going to win on that stone and this corner. Like, that's never going to work. I already have more territory than that. He kind of has to try to kill me, even though it doesn't work. So, here we go. He's trying to kill me. And I'm double and triple checking my reading, making sure that you can't really kill me, right? So far he can't, so far he can't. He sees the problem. He can't connect here and defend this stone simultaneously. It's just not a thing he can do. He tried to defend it this way. Another Atari. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We're going to connect. We're going to connect. I hesitated here for some weird reason, didn't I? What am I even thinking about? That's weird. Yeah, you obviously do the thing. Because this goes into the thing. I'm not sure what I thought. Why was I hesitating here? The read is obvious. But I clearly didn't know which one to go for for some reason. That's weird, dude. So yeah, he plays here, we do that one. So essentially what happens is, uh, if he had connected, we would Hane. Remember why? Remember me saying that would be a very big difference? Uh, we Hane. He has to take the stone that should have been dead already. And then we can go back and just kill top of the board. Yeah, that, that would have been no, it would have been no problem. 
Now, there are other ways to deal with it, too. We could uh, drop down, and then he would have been able to um, go back and do that anyway. But then we've got, like, a poke here into, like, a flat-out cut, in which case he'd be dead. It'd be fine. The AI says we were never in danger here. It was always okay. Cat said he just threw. No. No, he didn't. No, we were always fine. So now he's trying to get something done here. No eyes here to be had, unfortunately, for him. So he needs to deal with all the middle stuff. Instead, he's trying to counterattack because he has to get into this middle area, right? He has almost no territory. Now, another interesting little life and death problem that came up in this game is the upper uh, side of the board here. This can die. I admit, I only read out one thing, and I'll show you what I read out because it doesn't work, so it's not a spoiler. I read out, I can tower here, and then I'm going to extend up her, but that's not Shente, so he can play over her. And that he's alive, so this just don't work. No need to read nothing else. Yeah, that's not gonna work, so I don't think there's any more reason to keep reading because I read one variation. The one variation I read ain't gonna work, therefore nothing works. I'm gonna go and play other things now. Yeah. Yeah. That happened. So yeah, that doesn't work. But there is a kill sequence there, if you can see it. So yeah, he's trying to attack me. I'm trying to attack him. I think this is a really great idea. The AI is just like, no, just end him. Like, poke here, cut here, have fun. But I'm like, no, we're going to play this, and then we're going to play that and something else. And the AI is like really getting pissed here because there's no reason for this. Just like poke him and end it. Partially, and partially, I think, because you can go back and kill this. So it just wants to, you know, settle this area and then go back and kill this, I think. And then your, your, your goalie locks. So yeah, here he's trying to settle. Trying to settle. And I'm like, ooh, there's pokes and there's pokes. There's cuts, there's cuts. It's like, oh, there's so much, so much you can do. What's the right order of any of this? So I'm poking here, because push, cut, just kill this. Will he give me that much? Will he give me that much? And the answer is no. He will not give me that much, okay? He's not giving me that much. Well, that must mean we must try to kill everything, right? I mean, that that's just how that works. Yeah, if, if that's... Yeah, you just kill everything now. Only question is how. Do we connect here? No. This is the vital stone that's disconnecting all the things, right? I thought about just backing off and taking the middle. That would have been good enough. Not actually trying to kill anything, just back off, take the middle. He, on the other hand, is going all in, trying to, trying to push me again. So I'm like, okay, if he if he just backs off, nope. No backing off, apparently. So, all right, well, if there's no backing off, what are we going to play? Exactly. Threaten to cut him. Yep, right there. Threaten to cut him. Because now, essentially this group, because these two stones aren't completely dead yet, is a different group from this one since they're not connected, right? These are two separate groups for now. So if he lets me cut him, he has three separate groups. We should be completely fine, especially with the various Atari that we have going on here. Incoming mistake, by the way. Incoming mistake, by the way. Yep, he connects up. Great. I Atari. Mm -hmm. And now watch how stupid I am. He pushes. Okay, fine. Now we can still connect here. So that didn't do that didn't do what he wanted it to do. So I think he takes now. Yeah, see he takes now. And I should do the exact same thing. Because there's Mii, right? Once I take here, there's the cut, or we can surround. So we got a Mii thing to keep this left hand bit dead. 
instead, instead, what am I going to do? Yeah. Instead, we're going to surround. And I'm instantly noticing that was a dumb move. Look at me right click that position. It's like, no, that was stupid. That was stupid because this is Sente. This is Sente for the entire upper right hand group. So when he plays there, I have to connect. Now I'm, I'm cut off, which is bad. Now I'm cut off, which is not great, but we're still fine. A really stupid mistake to have made, but it's fine. He can't actually kill me because the cut there ends him, right? Cut there ends him. So we can go back, protect our cutting point because we have to do that immediately or my entire group dies. And that would be a rather embarrassing loss, right? Super embarrassing loss. So let's go ahead and connect, just like so. And now he could get an eye here, but unfortunately it would just be in Gote, and then he couldn't get the other one. So at this point, there is nothing Black can do. There is nothing Black can do and he's dead. Because there's no running to my stones for life. There's no eye here that he can take. So he finally resigns. Finally resigns. Ugh. Was not a perfectly played game anyway. You can see some bad thought processes in my brain. Uh, let's go ahead and show that one variation though. People would be complaining. <laughs> be like, you're, you're crazy. But that's like top variation right now. It's like, no, yeah, just, just kill. Oh wait, no, no sacrifice this time? Yep. Oh, uh, there into there, huh? Yep, yeah, there into too. there. And, and you're one fine. Of the easier ways to have extracted myself from the hell I uh, brought upon myself. Yep, there was. It's true. I we can still play that. here. Not gonna lie, I couldn't read out that small night. I wasn't sure about it. Nope. But yeah, neither was I. That when I do know that was a bad move. Yeah, because after that, we're free and away. There is one other thing, though. Oh, right. The other really, really important thing. Check this out. The thing about uh, this invasion move here. Dude. Okay, fine. Kiss my stone. That's not nope. a euphemism, officer. Do, do, do the easy way. Easy, easy way. Easy way. Easy way. Yep, here he can live. Sorry, not that. Yeah, here he can live. This kind of thing is actually still even mm -hmm. it's because the corner steals aren't worth any territory right it's worth like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen it's, it's not a big deal like we're gonna get territory here uh-huh maybe even by fully surrounding this to be honest but we still have influence in the center that we can expand from, so it's completely fine. Which is an interesting thing to take note of if you're doing like the double, you know, 3-3 three, three stuff. A lot of players do it because they think double 3-3 three, three, and then just live here and I'm going to win the game. Unfortunately, uh, at this point, okay, I'm, I'm cutting it off, but you can see way over on the other side that this would still result in a slight lead for white it never gets rid of white's lead so if you're double three if you're thinking if your thought process is okay i just need to double three three and then live on the side my opponent can't win the game not true fundamentally not true because these things barely take any territory and it's going to be in gote on an open board we're still going to have influence across the entire thing. And whether you like it or not, the AI does appreciate influence. It does see that it is worth points. So that is fundamentally flawed. If that is your thought process. Steel corner, live side, I win the game in 40 moves. No, 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 no. Steel corners, live side, you're still behind. Sorry, that's what the, that's what the AI says. So if you're three threeing, because you know the AI, then you gotta admit not taking a lead here. 
instead what you've done is you've created one group, two group, three group, four group, potentially five groups right now, and then you make a six in the middle. Ooh, that's getting dangerous territory for instant death. Whereas white's got one, two. We're good. Nothing bad happened. Only white now needing to have their influence controlled for the rest of the game. That's what sure. happened. Yep. In Incidentally, this also occurs recently in a professional game. True. Then I went over for my patrons. Also and true. Oh my god, did it spiral painfully out of control for the pro who tried to do the reduction. Like, yeah. Yeah, it did. It did. It really did. Yeah, this was, this was a professional uh, board position backed up by the AI, in case you're curious. Either way, let me know if you liked this sort of thing or if you didn't like this sort of thing. Um, I'm interested to hear your comments. Either way, hope you enjoy this wonderful game of killing. I'm very happy that he did die in the middle of the board uh, like that. Very, very happy indeed. And I hope it brought you some happiness too. As always, see you next time, everybody.